Hello guys and welcome to part 6 of the Dark RP F4 menu tutorial series. So today we're going to get right into it, we're going to be creating the weapons tab. That shouldn't be there. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to be creating the weapons tab uh, today. It should be pretty simple, just got to change some of the tables that it uses. Oh anyway, it's not there, that was just me testing. Anyway, so first of all, let's get right into it. So we're going to skip quite a lot this episode by just copying what we did last episode because it's quite a general format. So last episode we had this bit called Entity Tab, so we're just going to copy from here all the all of this, including the sheet, uh, including the background ad sheet, and the 4KV. And copy down to that, then we're going to just repaste it here. And then we'll first of all, scroll up and we'll change it to uh, Ship. Oh, we'll call it weapons tab right so if we scroll up a couple we've got that now right so what I want to do first is we want to change this to something like weapon we're going to call it weapon area instead remember all these need to be unique and then we need to parent everything back to uh, weapon area so it's just those two and then we want to call this something else so we're going to call it weapons so now if we press save and we were to go in here, uh, a lot of things would be messed up here. Yeah. Anyway, now I've got the weapons tab. Right, so now we're going to change all these for the, for the start. So what we want to do is, this isn't going to be called uh, dark copy entities anymore, it's going to be called sprouts. What I want to do quickly is add some D panel, add, add a D panel, because basically, in dark RP weapons is two different kinds. The shipment table includes uh, like shipments where you'll have like 10 items and there's actually sing there are singles so we're going to add like a little separator so there'll be like a little separator up here saying shipments and one called singles that's so what we'll do is just copy the d panel here and we'll paste it before that 4kv in pairs shift tab it back and then we'll call this uh ship heading back change this here what we want to do is we want to uh, parent it to weapon area yeah. And we want to dock it to the top. We want to set the size to around 50. And we, well, that, yeah, that's just the, how tall it is, uh, the Y. So not the width, the width uh, you, it doesn't matter on dock top. Dock margin should be fine like that. Uh, we'll probably set it a bit brighter because we want it to stand out to these normal backgrounds. So we'll just set it a bit brighter. And there we go, that's that done. So now we just want to add a little heading that actually says we uh, shipments, because this is going to be the shipment section. So we can just get a simple D label like this one, put that there, and we'll change it to uh, shift, tab it back, we'll change it to ship heading. There we go, if we put that there. And then make sure that's parented to weapon area. No, uh, make sure it's parented to, I think it's ship heading back, yeah, like that. So parent this one to that one. And then what we want to do, set keep a set expensive shadow, though all those values should be fine. We'll set it as derma large, so it stands out a little bit. Uh, we'll get this, we don't want it any from the top, I believe. So we'll just, we want it in the middle. So we just want that, that'll be five from the left. Uh, and then we want it to fill uh, uh, that part and then we don't want it to be v.name, we want it to be called uh, shipments and we get rid of this set size line because we don't need to set the size right now if we click save there will be some stuff messed up I believe Let, let's go check but anyway yeah look now so there will be the weapons here, this just to show you what is going, going along, now we have a little shipments bar. So now what I want to do is we want to change this to, not. it's not called dog pins, it's called custom shipments, this is the shipment table. And right, so what I want to get started with is a very simple uh, just if statement. So now what we can do actually is first of all we can fix all this. So we can keep the so we just want to change the name so we'll call it ship but we're going to pretty much just change ent to ship here so for most of this so first of all so we want to change all this so we'll do it like that right now we've got ship back done all that should be the same like that uh, we want to just we're basically just gonna what we can actually do is a neat thing you can do in notepad plus plus is i believe what we can just 
uh, you can just highlight it all and you can press Control F and if you go to replace, you can replace the thing ENT, which is just ENT, so we can replace it with just SHIP and we could do select all in uh, select in selection replace all now everything just has uh, end in front of it so now what we can do is we have v.name ship name we will change it to yeah that should be fine uh, v.name yeah, yeah yeah just checking it with my uh, test from earlier v.model ship model yeah uh, ship price x that should be fine V dot price. I'm just checking if everything's the same because it might not be. Uh, then we can. Then we have ship price. Yeah. Ship amount. So we want to add a ship amount because they. We can just change this to ship amount to be fair. So we'll just change. We can just do the control F thing again. We'll do control F. Replace max with amount. So now I've done that. We've got that. Uh, and v dot, I believe that is just v dot amount. Yeah, that'll get the amount that's actually in the shipment. And this should just be amount. I think it's because that already said max, so we change it to amount. Change that to amount up there as well. Right, so that should be that. Uh, we can just, I believe we can just leave it as that. Uh, ship purchase button, yeah. So purchase, say, and it's not v.cmt, it's something different. So this time it's uh, slash ship, buy shipment, and then it's just the name of the shipment. That's how shipments work. And so now if we scroll up, now this is what I said we need to do. So we want to add a if statement. So if you just highlight all this and tab it forward, make sure we put an end at the bottom. So we put an end here. And then now we can scroll up, and we'll do the if statement. So it's if... And then let's believe, yeah, uh, if v dot no ship, I'll explain this in a minute, v dot no ship equals false, false, then, put that, there we go, then. Right, so what's this saying, is this is saying, if v dot no ship equals false, then do this. So v dot no ship is, this, it's a, uh, entry in the shipment table so you can make things single so you would set this to true if you are making a singles so this is only showing shipments because it's saying that if it's a it is a shipment so it's saying no ship equals false so it is a shipment right so now if we save that we should see every shipment i believe hope there's no errors well that's that so now we have all the shipments these that you may fit there, there are pistols in the default dark copy and that's what we're going to get on to next so now, if we try to purchase one, uh, buy shipment AK-47, it won't let us purchase it, please, because we're not the right job. Or I may have made an error there. I've made an error. I think I've made an error. Uh, yeah, right. So if we go back into the code, uh, so what I've done is there's meant to be a space after buy shipment. There we go. So if we put that now. And if we weren't going to do it, say you won't, won't be able to purchase it, but now if we click purchase, that'll go purchase shipment. Wait a minute, click purchase, please wait before spawning another shipment. There we go, now I've got two shipments. Remember the F4 menu is not actually spawning these. This is just dark RP, it's just making the player say the command. So that's that, now we're going to add singles. So to add singles, what we want to do is, we'll, I think what we can do is we can literally just copy this. So if we just copy this up to uh, the 4K, no, copy up to the ship heading actually. Yeah, copy up to the ship heading and um, we'll put that there and then what we want to do is you want to change ship to single in all of these so just what we can just do as always you can change control effort we can find ship and change it to single place all in selection there we go we've done that that should make everything a lot easier then the heading back that should be fine and then we want to change this to singles because uh, that'll be the heading and then custom uh, shipments that's because I changed every ship to single so that messed it up and it's v dot if v dot separate equals true separate equals true so basically this is obviously another and if v dot separate equals true then do this so this is going to do this for every shipment and if it equals false it's not going to do it in this uh, style 
So what is basically V dot separate in Dark RP is you can create a shipment so it's just one, and then yeah, it'll literally just be a single. So what we can do in here is single back. That should be fine. Single dot name. In most of these are the same. It's just the price, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so it's not. It's called V dot price separate because we're doing it for the separate weapons. So we just change that down there as well. Then we got we got the V dot price separate, and then the amount. Uh, we just want to set that to one because every all of the amounts going to be one because it's just going to be separate. So now we've changed that to one, I believe. Uh, the last bit we need to do is just change this back to by shipment, and then now if we save that, and we've got an error line 409. Right, hello guys, so we're back. I've found the error 4kv in pairs. We forgot to end it off with the end, so if we just end it, we can save it. Now we're going to the F4 menu, press remove. Weapons got shipments and singles. So next time we'll be moving on to ammo, and then after that, we'll be doing food. Next up should be around on Wednesday if not tomorrow so thanks for watching I forgot to be telling you guys to subscribe it really helps out my channel obviously It'd be really good if you did that it obviously notifies you if you make sure to click the notify icon and finally I want to say in the description there is a link to my discord and you can make requests there for what you want me to do next or you can just if you have problems with your code you can just message me there so make sure to do that because it's quite helpful a lot of other people uh, a couple of other people have used it i believe uh, and i've helped them out so make sure to just do that anyway thanks for watching remember to like the video and subscribe uh, have a good day guys